talk to you now. I'm here with Robert Herb Chase. So when did you first get into music? Well, I first started off when I was about 12 years old and uh, it was something I really didn't take as serious and uh, uh, I, when I did get more serious into it, I'd spin it into 8 to 12 hours and uh, I fell in love with it and I still play to this day. Well, I understand that you're part of a music program, so can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, actually the gentleman that runs this, his name is Earl Hughes, and he has two other uh, Opry chapters of what they call it. It's for musicians from different areas, from like Alaska, Hawaii, and he's starting up an Idaho chapter. And mainly it's uh, just to bring other musicians involved and uh, just, uh, just to bring more talent into the area. All right, well, I understand that you play the guitar. Do you play any other instruments? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, the guitar is mainly my, my money maker as an instrument, but uh, I do play the drums, I play the bass, and I sing a lot for cover bands and regional acts. All right. Um, so, what are some of the songs that you've done with cover bands? Oh, well, that's quite a that's quite a variety. There, I've uh, started over years of uh, playing classic rock. Uh, uh, let's see, Leonard Skinner, ZZ Top, uh, Guns N' Roses. Uh, and nowadays it's more of a country scene. Uh, it's stuff like uh, Adele, uh, more pop stuff like that, and, uh, and Little Big Town. and Just uh, stuff that you hear more on the radio today. It's very interesting. So when does this program meet? Well, this program meets, uh, it, it's, it's, it's happening as we speak. We're just in the form of building it. It's, you know, it's, it's something that does take time. Uh, imagine yourself any time that you're trying to develop uh, you know, a clique of, of musicians and a group of people. Uh, we're just trying to get more individuals into this environment and uh, kind of pros, you know, try to attract other great musicians. So it takes time. So hopefully in the next few weeks, uh, I'd say, you know, four weeks to six weeks. So where do you see your music career heading in the future? <laughs> uh, well, that's, uh, that's funny. I mean, it, honestly, the sky's the limit. Uh, it, it could, you know, it, it's just something that you really have to, you know, you have to believe that you can do anything and nothing is impossible. So I would say for me, it's, uh, it's an issue of, you know, teaching, you know, students and uh, making sure that they improve in their musical skills and try to write a good song for somebody someday. Well, thank you for being here today so that we can interview you. Thank you.